Hey, this is Ed with AtticFoil.com. I wanted to share some video of Chris Edwards, the owner of Greenlow's Radiant Barrier here in Dallas, Texas. He's one of many professional installers who install Attic Foil Radiant Barrier Foil. This is a video to show the open ridge method or the staple up method of installing Radiant Barrier Foil. They're going to install the Radiant Barrier Foil and then come back with additional attic insulation. This is an older home. It's a fairly low pitch roof. Uh, the, probably the biggest challenge is the first run of foil just because it's a little tight down in the eaves. And you can see what they're doing is kind of the buddy system where they're pulling the foil one long piece, probably 40 feet long. They're going to staple it to one end and pull it tight. Come along and staple every rafter. You can go every second or third rafter if you, if you want. Three or four staples per rafter is really all you need. Notice he's leaving a little space at the bottom. That's for ventilation to come up from the soffits behind the foil. He will continue stapling until the first run of foil is done. And as you can see, this 40 foot piece went in in about five minutes. So that's about 150 feet. Now it's time to install the second piece of attic foil radiant barrier. Uh, notice the vent pipe from the bathroom right there in the middle of the picture. He's going to cut around this just using a standard utility knife, cutting around it, and he's going to staple up. If it's a combustible pipe like a hot water heater or something like that, you want to make sure to leave about six or eight inches around any type of penetration like that. Then he'll continue on and staple. You can see the product is very durable, very strong, uh, virtually tear proof, just a few staples per rafter. He's leaving, he's stapling up as high as he can. He's going to come back and staple that top area uh, here in a second. He's overlapping the foil about an inch, inch or two. Here's coming back and stapling the top part to finish it up. Now the two pieces of the attic foil are complete. It's time to move on to the third piece. And notice how the third piece is not going to fit completely uh, between the top of the foil and the bottom of the cross support. So what he's going to do is staple two or three staples and let that foil hang down a little bit. You kind of see a flap hanging there. He's just stapling. And what he's going to do is come back here in a second. We're going to show you how to cut around those supports in order to achieve the best and fastest, easiest uh, installation method. Don't overthink this. Just staple and cover as much as you can as fast as you can. Here you can see the flap hanging down. What he's going to do is do what's called the uh, T-cut or a cross cut. Take that foil, cut it down, actually use the support as a cutting board. You can go along and just cut real quickly and then wrap that foil up. Here's a close up of the T-cut coming down and then doing a little cross cut. And this will make the foil so it just wraps around any support real easy. Once again, it doesn't have to be super tight. You're not trying to make it airtight. You're just trying to cover as much as you can as fast as you can. If you got a truss type system, you can use this. You can knock these out real fast. Just use those trusses as cutting boards, either from the top or the bottom. You can either wrap these supports, the cross supports, like they're doing in this video, or what you can do is use the cross supports as a starting point and either work up or down and just put the foil on top or below and do it as this picture illustrates right here. Once you finish installing the bottom part, you want to continue with the top. With the open ridge system, you want to leave a space at the top for the, the warm air or the attic ventilation to escape. Attic ventilation is real simple. Holes in the bottom, holes in the top. You're going to leave that slot and you're going to cut around any wind turbines or static vents. You want to leave a path for air to come in the bottom, flow behind the foil in the roof, all the way to the top. Hot air is always going to end up in the top of the attic. You just want to give it an unobstructed path in order to find its way out. In summary, probably the best advice for installing attic foil radiant barrier is to not to overthink it. Really all you're doing is stapling the foil to the bottom of the rafters. The heat that would normally come off the roof and to get absorbed by the insulation, you're essentially just bouncing it back. Also, when you install the radiant barrier, it does not have to be pretty to be effective. Just keep it simple, staple it up. It's a great do-it-yourself project. Remember, foil is like shade. It has a cumulative effect. You might have some areas that are really hard to get to, don't worry about those. Just do the areas that you can get to as much as you can. For more information and complete instructions, visit AtticFoil.com, your complete online source for Radiant Barrier Foil.